Yo, 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 this your boy Chief Fila, and now you tuned in to another episode of Talk to Your Boy Podcast Show, episode 29. We're one more episode away to ending the, ep- the season, the first season, into the new second season of Talk to Your Boy episodes. You know what I'm saying? So let's enjoy the show. Uh, <clears throat> I ain't got no beer today. Actually, I still got my Dunno, but I don't feel like drinking that shit today. I got me some white tequila here, 100% puro agave. That's blown. You know what I'm saying? They got the, they got the, they got a skeleton with a hat on top of the chicken, like, like he's jousting and shit. You know what I'm saying? But this is some good shit, man. We're gonna get our swerve on a little bit. <clears throat> Let me find my little spliff up. Today we got a nice. Episode ahead of us, you know, I want to talk about this new way of flirting. Like, is IG, like giving somebody like a new, is the new way of flirting nowadays? Is that the new era of flirting nowadays? Did I say that right? Is that the new thing in this era that if you give somebody a like, it's a flirt? I mean, I even seen Chris Bond and and, and Soldier Boy, Soldier Boy almost fight over the shit. This nigga Soldier Boy gave Chris Brown X a like on fucking IG, and this nigga was stupid. You know what I'm saying? And I seen a lot of shit lately on the internet like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, like for instance, my boy E100. Shout out to E100, Scale Music Family. You know what I'm saying? This nigga here, where my phone at? Nah, don't tell me I ain't got my phone. Oh, shit. This nigga here. Give me a second. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. For instance, you know, my boy E100. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Like, first of all, I can see if, if you know, you around here giving likes to chicks every day. And you know what I'm saying? For this new era. Because I'm not used to this era. I can see if you give giving chicks likes, a dude chick like every day, every post, every post she put, you give her a like. I can see why the nigga flip. Be like, yo, this nigga trying to get at my girl or whatever, flip, whatever. Right? But how about when it's your girl constantly giving a nigga a like? Is the nigga supposed to hit the nigga up? Or check his bitch. I don't understand these niggas. These niggas on some new shit. On some new fuck nigga shit. Like your bitch liking my dog pigs. And you talking to my dog so kind of. Let me read the post. I'm going to post it up for y'all to see it. But let's read this shit. Give me a sec. I'm pulling it up right now. Look at this shit here. Mm. Excuse me, man. Mm-hmm. Okay. Look at this shit here. This nigga writes to my boy. <sighs> my G, I don't know you, and I don't know, and you don't know me. But I need to remove I need you to remove yourself from my girl's page. Seriously. I ain't I ain't at you. With no pressure or no problems. I just don't want you liking my girl's pics. That's all. Seriously, bro. I'm asking you like a man to please remove yourself. I know you seen she got kids and a nigga she's been with for 10 years. And I've been seeing y'all back and forth throughout the years. But I need that shit to stop ASAP, my G. That's all I'm asking. If there's something be- something between, I would like, I, well, I guess he meant to say there's something between y'all. I appreciate it before I find out for myself. But like I said already, I ain't got no problem with you at all. I just need you to remove yourself, bro. That's it. Right? So my boy responds, fool, 
You sound like a, a, clown, a whole clown right now. First of all, I don't know who your girl is. And if you got a problem with her or her social media, check her about it. Bye-bye. Then he writes, my G, I'm talking about a regular the armors. I'm a... Uh, Whatever. She can have an IG, but you don't got to be all over her pictures. And, okay, I see you want problems. Call people names and shit. I ain't on that, bro. Take it easy, man. I ain't finna be snapshotting shit. I'm putting two and two together, bro. I don't like you liking her pics. That's all. Don't get mad and respect that. So my dog said, uh, oh, yeah, my dog said, uh, I said, please, why you, why, whatever, keep yourself out of mind with the same, bro. Oh, yeah? Now, now yeah, this way the nigga said, I said, peace. And why you, WB, I don't know what the fuck it mean, keep yourself out of mind with the same, bro. And my boy put, oh, yeah? Now I'm going to put you on blast for being a hoe. Bye, bro. Stop the BS. Bro, you playing with the wrong one. My boy say, show me. <laughs> I'm going to give you what you're looking for, Papa. That's a clown ass nigga, dog. First of all, I thought it was the other way around, but still, you know, like he said, he been seeing them back and forth. But still, you's a clown ass nigga, dog. What's that nigga name? Let's just suppose that clown ass nigga, bro. Born in God's image on IG. Yeah, if you want to look for him, it's at I K I X I T. Born in God's image. You's a clown ass nigga. You made yourself look stupid, nigga. First of all, you tell your girl to move, move that nigga if you have some kind of pressure. Because your girl seems like she don't have a problem with that nigga liking his pic. And who the, what the fuck you doing checking who likes the pics? You don't mind if you see a girl's profile, but you going to trip when you see a dude's profile. What you hit every dude up that, 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 that fucking like the pic? I don't like sucker ass niggas, dog. This a sucker ass niggas, dog. And this is the shit that I mean. Where the fuck is my lighter? Because I'm already hyper, hyper whatever that word name is. Oh my God. Don't tell me I left my lighter somewhere. You see, this is the shit that fucks with me. Oh, there you go. I ain't never been that type of nigga that being jealous, bro. Like, the fuck? Nigga, Chief Eli, nigga, they used to call me a playero when I was a jit, nigga. Because if a bitch didn't want to fuck with me, nigga, I used to leave her, nigga, and get another bitch the next day, nigga. And, you know, there's times in the 90s when I, I, these niggas thought they could try me when I'd be around my girl and I had a badass chick. If I had a banging ass chick and I'm dolo and this is like a, I go through a squad of niggas, like probably 10 niggas, they be like, damn, shorty raw tapping each other. God damn, look, fat ass, uh. And I be hearing it because they say it loud enough for you to hear it. Niggas out here, man, kind of disrespectful. Back in the day, the 90s, it was different. So I used to look back like, yeah, dog, she raw as fuck, huh? But nigga, that head game serious, nigga. And I put my arm around her and I grab her ass, nigga, and walk away. I never used to get mad. Because what you want your nigga, what you want these niggas to say, damn that bitch, ugly, and all that, nigga, you know you got a bad one. I mean, how many times when you were single and you see a nigga walk around with a bad one, you were like, God damn. What, you think it's not going to happen to you because you some kind of super duper man or something that nobody can try you? Nigga, ain't nobody out here see nobody, fool. You know what I'm saying? Niggas out here are clowns, bro. Like, this era is funny as fuck, nigga. Like, back in the era, that's why I like the 90s because niggas was on some pimp shit. Listen to the 90s music, nigga. Niggas was on some pimp shit, nigga. We didn't even buy hoes McDonald's. And these niggas not there buying hoes Gucci bag that cost 10, 15. You got me fucked up, nigga. I would give that to my kids before I give that to some bitch out in the street, nigga. $15,000 fucking Gucci bag? Suck a dick, bitch. You got me fucked up. Nigga, back then, you can't even get a number one from McDonald's. Depending on your head game. Nigga, I remember back in the days, nigga, when a nigga wanted to smash... And you didn't want to smash a nigga drive far until you get the fuck out the car and walk home, bitch. All right, I'll suck your dick. All right, I thought so. You know what I'm saying? It used to be like that, nigga. But these niggas want to be paymasters on the fucking sport. These hoes, now these hoes acting all brand new. Hey, hey, dog, do you notice that a lot of these hoes that's famous right now got no talent? 
They just hoes that got a fake fat booty, fake titties, got a pretty look, and posing on IG, get a license shit, and they become famous. But they ain't got no talent. They ain't got no talent whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? Back then, bitches had talent. They still were getting dogged out. And these niggas up right then, they got, these hoes ain't got no talent. Looking extra sexy for these niggas. They want to buy them a Gucci bag? Nigga. We had them natural. How God created them. They were better than that plastic shit you fucking. Because y'all niggas fucking plastic, nigga. That's all y'all doing is fucking Barbie dolls. You might well fuck your little sister Barbie doll when you was a kid growing up. Because that's what you fucking right now. Is a fucking Barbie, Barbie doll created by Dr. Miami. You know what I'm saying? But I remember back in the days, nigga. They were natural, nigga. Fat donkeys, nigga. And now they want to pay all this bread, and niggas are like, niggas are like, oh shit. And niggas are like coming out the pockets for that kind of shit. I know niggas that would pay for a pair of titties, nigga. Like, I'm the type of nigga, if I were to do that, I swear to God, when we break up, I'm collecting back them titties. I swear to God, I'm, listen here. I want back them titties in less than 48 hours. That part. I'll repo that bitch like a pawn shop, like a fucking repo. I will repo them titties, man. You got me fucked up, man. Listen, I'll put that in the contract when they put them titties on. Listen, the day we break up, them titties leave with me. That's how that gonna work. What you gonna fix up for the next man to look good? Y'all niggas sleep. That ain't no chief he like shit. Man, back in the days, I had so many bad bitches, dog. My own homeboys, like... I had a couple homeboys, that, you know, not, I ain't gonna say they're homeboys because they were the OGs, you know what I'm saying? My, niggas my age wouldn't do that. And if I did, and if they did, I didn't find out about it. But I found out about an OG. I didn't really step to OG because OG is family. Family was somebody that's really close to me. So, but I stepped to OG and told him that I know what you did. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, man, don't let that hoe. I said, nah, she know too much. You told, you said something. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, I was fucking with this bitch. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I was smashing her. She looked at raw as fuck. Looked at raw as fuck. And niggas wanted to try to get at her because they see that she's a little bimbo. You know what I'm saying? But she was a raw bimbo. So, you know what I'm saying? So, when I step away, I leave the bimbo behind, you know, because I'm making moves. I'm, I'm hustling at that time. So, I'll be like, yo, I'll be right back. And she was hanging out with some other chicks that, you know, from the neighborhood. We all know each other. So, she hanging out there with the homies, too, though. So, one of the OGs said, I'm like, yo, man, what's up? I'm like, man, you see who I'm fucking with? She's like, yeah, I know, but that nigga really don't care about you. That nigga there be like, he's from one bitch to another. Like, he like, she was like, well, so what? I like him. And, you know, he was trying to hate on me. Like, he was saying a lot of shit that only he would know and the homies would know, right? So next thing you know, shorty, I'm hustling, nigga. And I ain't taking care of shorty, but she, she like my gang. She like my swag. She like, you know what I'm saying? How I get it. You know, when we go out, I pay for shit, you know what I'm saying? But she do too shit. You know, it was like that. So next thing you know, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, she came to me and was like, yo, man, the people, man, such and such and such was blah, blah, blah. Like, really? Damn, what did he say? He was like, such and such, that you be from one bitch to another, that, and this and this and that, you don't really love girls and all this. I said, shit, I'm, I'm a single man. I mean, I'm not going to say he's lying, but I'm, I'm keeping it 100. If I'm a single man, I'm going to be from one girl to another because they ain't trying to be with me. Ain't nobody trying to lock me down, so you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to do what I do. She was like, yeah, I feel you because you're a nice guy. We know each other. You all there. Whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I called Buddy. I'm like, bro, why you have to do that, dog? Like, all you got to do is talk to me and see if maybe you can persuade her to do what you want her to do, nigga, because you know how I get down, fool. Like, I don't really care about these hoes. And he knew that. That's why he said that. And I admitted it, like, you know what I'm saying? We ain't trying to get that deep. What the fuck do I care about your love and passion and shit like that? We ain't really trying to get that far. But I told him, like, all we got to do is talk, bro. He like, nah, but she feeling you. I don't know what she told you, but she lied. But this and this and that. I am like, bro, what are, how you know she lying? Like, I didn't even tell you what she told me. 
He like, nah, but you calling me saying that I said something. Like, bro, she ain't going to make that up. But anyway, bro, I don't really care. I ain't going to get mad at you about it because you family. But still, you ain't got to do that, bro, especially on the youngest, nigga. You know what I'm saying? She's not even your age. She's my age. You know what I'm saying? So we left it like that. But one day, I got pissed off at Shawty. I was like, look, man, fuck that. I don't want to fuck with you no more. So people in the neighborhood thought still we were fucking, but we weren't fucking. She wasn't my lady. You know, we were just messing around. So one of the homies get with him. But he thought he took it from me. So, you know what I'm saying? When I see Buddy, he was like, hey, bro, what's up? I said, what's up, nigga? I'm happy to see you, you know what I'm saying? But he think I ain't. He did me a favor. My bad. She actually was really stalking me after a while. So he actually did me a favor. So next thing you know, he was like, what's up, nigga? I was like, hey, what's up, bro? And this and this and that. He like, bro, you're not mad at me, right? I said, mad at you for what? He was like, nah, because... You know, I, you know, I kind of took your girl. I like you took nigga. She didn't tell you. He like nah, nigga. I've been dodging her, nigga. She been stalking me, nigga. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. You bugging, nigga. You didn't tell you shit, nigga. Just don't act up for that bitch. That bitch crazy, nigga. And he was like, for real, I'm like yeah, nigga. But she, that bothered me because if you was my boy, it's cool that you said my bad to my face and you came and told me. But if you was my boy and you thought it was my bitch, why you didn't call me? Because it wasn't if that was my bitch, which it wasn't. That's why it was open like that for him to take it, because he would have never stepped to the trust me. You know what I'm saying? But my point is, because only my boys could get away with this, because I don't punch niggas. They know I won't punch a nigga up for a fake, for a bitch. So they go, they, they go that, they cross that line. But at one point, I had to, not him, a couple times, I had to say, my nigga, listen, the next nigga try fucking with a bitch that I'm fucking, I'm going to slap the shit out of you, because now you think I'm soft. And they're like, Chief, you don't think you soft. They don't call me Chief, they call me here, man. Who t- nah, man, what you know, you don't love them hoes. They're like, yeah, dog, but fuck with your own bitch, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And all right, all right. You know what I'm saying? Because it was getting to the point that niggas was, like, I think they was, say- they was saying certain shit to get the girl pissed off at me to get them. You know what I'm saying? Because all of a sudden they would roll their eyes when I see them. I'm like, what the fuck did I do to you? Oh, I heard what? What you heard? He told these nigga, man, fuck me. He ain't trying to fuck with me no more. Anybody can have it. It's true. Shit, I, I ain't fucking lying, nigga. You, nigga, if you ain't my bitch, you ain't sleeping over my crib. These whole thing, because they suck your dick and they sleep over your house a couple times, that they your bitch. Now, I don't know what the fuck you do when you leave my crib. You don't be with me all day. You only come when you want to get your knock run. Your, your shit popped off. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and you want to leave in the morning because I don't beat your brain in so bad that you so tired and shit like that. You want to leave in the morning and then you kind of sleep over this shit. So all of a sudden you feel like you my old lady, nigga? No. Shit. Because the day you ain't come, it was the day I had a bitch around too, nigga. What the fuck wrong you? So... You know what I'm saying? I would tell him, like, my nigga, what do you think we had? Because you ain't never tell you I love you. I ain't never tell you I love you. We didn't really make out because we don't like the kids. So what the fuck, make? Because I dick you down and you suck my dick? Nah. These hoes, like, these hoes fucking bootleg nowadays. And back then too, they were bootleg back then, but they were real bootleg. Like, they had natural body, but the attitude was bootleg. Like, it was fake love. They tell you they, uh, like, they'll suck your nigga, fuck you on a Sunday, think they your girl. That's some fake ass shit. You just like the way I dick you down. You lusting right now. You ain't in love. You don't feel nothing for me. All you did was felt this dick in your fucking gut in your fucking mouth, bitch. And take it like that. You know what I'm saying? And I hate them type of niggas, dog. Like, we had this one type of nigga that want to hang out, right? You know, we chilling with the hoe. Next thing you know, this one nigga, like, he thought that he going to wipe this hoe. Because this hoe was pretty as hell, right? So he going to tell this hoe, like, oh, you so beautiful. 
I don't know what you're doing hanging around here. Do you have any kids? She's like, yeah, I got one kid. Like, why are you hanging with us? You're so beautiful. You should, your kid really needs you. Like, a beautiful mom like you shouldn't be. Like, you're a queen. You shouldn't. Like, telling us shit like that. Like, she shouldn't be around us. And shit like that. And this and this and that. I'm listening to this shit. So I'm like, yo, my nigga. What the fuck are you talking about? And this bitch gonna say, not the nigga, not my own boy, but this nigga, the bitch gonna say, you know what, you right. And she started crying. <laughs> I should be with my son right now. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing here smoking weed, doing cocaine and drinking? I should be with my son. My son needs me right now. And I'm looking at it like, you super sailor, whole ass nigga. Like, you was a bitch. Nah, like, I never took that nigga around. Like, ever. Like, we never hung out after that. Like, like, we was cool, but I ain't never, like, yo, yo, you want to ride? Never, nigga. I wouldn't even take that nigga to the store because you don't know if you're going to meet a bitch on the way to the store. Nigga, I, nigga, you can't even ask me for a ride if I'm on the way home and I see you 30 miles away from home and I'm on the way to the crib. That direction, you can't even ask me for a ride, nigga. You might fuck up my pussy, my money, something. With that kind of shit you just did, you was a funny nigga, dog. You did some shit thinking it was going to fall your way. You know what? You're such a good man. I'm going to leave with you. Let's just go somewhere. She, he thought that bitch was going to say some shit like that. And the bitch said, you know what? You're right. I'm just going to go home. My son needs me. What am I you doing cocaine when you die for him? Huh? Like, it went like that. Like, like, damn. The whole vibe, everybody was like, like, everybody. Like, I was high as fuck in my... My note I went straight. <laughs> that shit went straight down after that. Like, and I'm looking at it like, what the fuck did you tell her, bro? Like, we just hanging out. It's not like we having an orgy here that you have to talk like that, bro. It's not like we out there robbing and shit. What the fuck is wrong with you, dog? You made it seem like we are criminals and we rob banks and say that shit shouldn't hang out with us. Nigga, what the fuck? Dog, instantly dropped that nigga off to the crib, nigga. That was the last time I, he rode in my car. Mm-hmm. The fuck wrong with niggas, man? Niggas got no game. And they think by giving that advice, they think the bitch is going to look at them like a good man and say, you know what? I'd rather leave with you because you're the best guy in this batch. Fucking pussy nigga. That's, see, that's what you call a pussy nigga. See, there's two words for those niggas. Pussy nigga. And there's another two words for those niggas. Fuck niggas. That's the definition of a pussy nigga and a fuck nigga. A pussy nigga and a fuck nigga is the type of nigga that'll sell you out for some pussy just to get a fuck. So they pussy niggas and they fuck niggas, though. Those are those type of niggas. Like, they'll, they'll fuck everything up for some pussy. Just to go home with it, with the bitch. Like, he went thinking about how about if I end up with, you know, I already smacked that bitch you were talking about. But still, I, you never know if I want to set this that day. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you don't know if, you know what I'm saying? Like, what if she want to smash the homie next to me? And you don't ruin his chance with that fuck shit. There was other, two other girls that they had to go home because you don't make one of the bitches cry, nigga. And they all came together, you dumb fuck. I swear to God, though, I just, I hate, I hate this era with this IG and all these pussy fuck niggas that's floating around this shit. Now this shit done went viral and digital and shit like that. Fuck them niggas, dog. Y'all niggas stay sucker free. Listen to your boy Chief Eli, you know what I'm saying? And I want to thank y'all for, for watching this show, episode 29. Remember, the next episode is the last episode of the season. So I'm going to take like a two-week break rebrand my video because I'm going to show y'all some different shit. I'm going to do some different shit. And it's going to take me two weeks to do it. So two weeks break and then we start the second season. All right, guys? So thank you for watching the show. ch ch, -ch -hoo! <laughs>